Okay. In this video, I'm going to show you two horror movies that I got from the mail last week. Uh, I remember seeing the sequel uh, years ago. You remember Joe Bob Briggs? He used to have the monster movie. Uh, was it monster movie? Uh, I think it was monster movie mayhem. I can't remember right now. On TNT, I saw a uh, part two, part three, and I saw the f uh, first one uh, a couple days ago, and I really enjoyed it. I haven't saw part four yet, and I haven't saw a part. I haven't seen part five yet. I'll give you a clue about this uh, horror, mo uh, the horror movies I'm talking about. It's about this tall man, these weird crystal balls, this uh, mausoleum that has little dwarfs that are his slaves, and this tall man loves to say the word, word boy. You're about to be late to the funeral, boy. Yes, I'm talking about Phantasm. Part one, part two. I only own uh, part one and part two. I saw part three years ago. On video, I saw part two. Like I said, on Joe Bob Briggs' Monster Movie Mayhem. Or Monster Movie Madness. I can't remember the total name right now. You gotta forgive me. But I used to love watching Joe Bob Briggs all the time on TNT. Boy, he was a cool Texas cowboy. Or a cool Texas uh, host. Whatever. And no, I'm not a Dallas Cowboys fan. My my favorite team is the, well, it used to be the Washington Redskins, and now it's the Washington football team. I got to do a video about that later, but uh, sorry, it's kind of hot in this kitchen. It's really hot. Hope the summer will end and fall will begin. It will be cold, cold, cold again, even though when it's cold weather, I'm going to be pissed about that too. But anyway, I really enjoyed the first Phantasm. Directed by Don Casarelli. He did a good job directing this. It's creepy, cool, and scary at the same time. It's about mostly this kid played by a Michael Baldwin. Mike, uh, they're, I can't remember if it's an uncle or friend, whatever. Tommy, yeah, it was Tommy who was making love to that girl, but it was really the tall man in disguise. He kills Tommy, and uh, he's a. Uh, I think he's living with his older brother, uh, Jody, played by Billy Thornberry, and Mike is getting suspicious about this funeral home he was spying on. He wasn't, he wasn't invited to uh, Tommy's funeral because the parents, I think, got killed in a car accident. I forgot how, I forgot how the parents died, but, uh, so they didn't, they didn't want, uh, Mike at the funeral, but he spies on the funeral anyway, and he sees this weird tall guy carrying the casket, Tommy's casket, by himself. Because that, that casket had the weight of, had, I'm not good on measurements, but it had the way a, a ton of, you know, had to take two or three people to carry the casket. But the tall man just picks it up by himself because he's not human. I like the scene where, uh, yeah, Mike, uh, he goes to the f fortune teller and she tells him, you shouldn't you shouldn't be afraid of fear or you shouldn't fear anything. When he sticks his hand in that box, it is a cool scene. Also, my favorite character, of course, is uh, Reggie, played by Reggie Bannister, the ice cream man or the ice cream bender. In the sequels, he's always horny. Well, not always horny, but you know you gotta watch the uh, the sequels, the franchise. I mean, you know the series to know what I'm talking about. Uh, part one is really a good one. Part two, I kind of like. The character of Mike was in it, but he was played by a different actor. I heard a lot of people didn't like this actor playing him. They miss, you know, A. Michael Baldwin playing Mike, but it's play, he's played by James Lee Gross. Of course, the tall man is played by Angus Scrim. Angus Scrim, he passed away in 2016. May he rest in peace. He was cool as the tall man. He was real creepy in a good way. Of course, part two is... Also directed by Don Casarelli. I think he did a good job this. Uh, he did a good job directing this. But uh, like I said, I don't own part three. I remember part three where, you know, A. Michael you know, A. Michael Baldwin returned as the character of Mike. And it's been a while since I've seen part three. But I just remember uh, Reggie. He goes to this house and he meets this little boy. Sadly, the little boy is spoiler alert. The little boy gets killed by the tall man. At the end, he doesn't really get killed by the tall man. I, I think the door, the dwarfs 
you know, the little his little slave, the dwarves, came and killed him. The ending, the ending is always like what happened in the first ending, you know, part two, part three. It's always the same thing what happens at the ending. Ended, I mean. But like I said, little Tim, I think he gets killed. He doesn't return to the sequels, which is a shame because I like that little kid. But it is what it is. But anyway, part two is where Reggie, you no, know, uh, Mike, he's he's staying at the mental institution. But when he's uh, released, he, he's in Reggie's care. And Reggie, when he brings my uh, brings Mike, let me start over. Let me get this video right. You know how I do in these videos. I always mess up my words. That's just how I am. I'm sorry, it's hot in this kitchen. Anyway, Reggie, he brings Mike back to his uh, to his aunt's place, and the tall man he blows up the house. It's oh, that's sad. He kills Reggie's relatives. But mostly, Mike he's got to save this girl. I think the girl's name was what was the girl's name? I I can't remember the girl's name right now. Uh, the actress was played by. Paula Irving. But anyway, that's it. I just feel like talking about, uh, you know, Phantasm 1 and 2. I don't own 3 and 4. I haven't saw uh, I haven't saw Part 4 or Part 5 yet. Part 5, that was, I think that was the Tom, uh, Angus Scrim's last movie as a Tom Man. Maybe that was his last movie uh, ever, but uh, I gotta look that up. But if you love horror, especially, especially 70s and 80s horror, this was 1979. Yeah, this was, uh, I think this was 1988. I could be wrong. I can't see the year on here. Only year I saw when the DVD was released, 2009. Maybe it's on here. I can't. Well, yeah, I want to get this right. I'll say 88, 1988. I could be wrong, but I'm just saying. I'm just guessing. But yeah, if you haven't saw a Phantasm yet, you gotta check this out. It's really a cool, creepy cemetery mausoleum horror film about the tall man kidnapping. Uh, I forgot to say he was kidnapping the dead bodies and turning them into these little midget slaves. I'm sorry for using the word midget. I know we live in a PC universe. I shouldn't say that, but I'm just because I can't say dwarfs right now. I'm always, you know, I'm always screwing my words up, but that's how I am. Check out Phantasm 1 and 2. And check out Phantasm 3, 4, or 5. I'm sure those are cool, good too. I only saw 3. I told you I haven't saw 4 or 5 yet. But I remember seeing 1 and 2. And between the... It's been a while since I saw Part 3. But 1 and 2. I think this is my favorite right now. 2 is alright. I just... I, 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 agree. I agree with the audience who didn't like it. I mean... James Lee Gross, he did a good job playing Mike, but I always thought A. Michael Baldwin, sh A. Michael Baldwin should have returned to play his character as Mike, but I didn't know why uh, the direct. Maybe he didn't want to do it. I don't know. Maybe you can look that up. I'm not good with why actors don't want to. Maybe it's for the money. I'm I'm just guessing. Anyway, that's it. I'm about to end this video, and I might return for to do my Halloween suggestions videos. If you watch my videos from the past, I always do Halloween suggestions, talking about movies movies you should watch on Halloween. But as I'm about to end this video, and please subscribe to my channel if you want to subscribe to my channel. Have a good night.